let us see examples let a b x y be non zero integers integers and let we have the equation ax plus py is equal to 1 then show that then show that g3 of ab is same as g3 of xy is same as g3 of a with y is equal to same as g3 of x with respect to b is 1 so we will prove this solution we have the numbers or integers a b x y and we have equation a x plus b y is equal to 1 to show g square of a b g square of x y g square of a y g square of x b which is equal to 1 so to show this uh, numbers has g c d 1 means if we assume ax plus by has this cdt then what will happen let's see suppose to assume suppose that g cd of a and b which is d if d is g cd of a and b then d should divide a and d divides b right then by using definition of divisibility then by definition then by definition what we say that d divides a and d divides b now d divides a and d divides b then there exist or uh, then by using definition of divisibility what we say d is equal to d k1 and b is equal to d k2 for some some k1 k2 belongs to set of integers right so here what we have given x plus by is equal to 1 right now using this value so using values of a and b values of a and b in equation what what is the equation ax plus by is equal to 1 so using this value a and b so a has value dk1 b has value dk2 so we get dk1 x plus dk2 y is equal to 1 so i will write it as 1 is equal to i will take d as a common into bracket k1x plus k2y right so i will write it as integers k so what is equal to d k dash where k dash is nothing but k1x plus k2y which belongs to set of integer then by using definition of divisibility what we say d divides 1 where d is the gcd where d is gcd and d always greater than equal to 0 because g is always positive and greater than equal to 0 so here sorry strictly greater than 0 so d not equal to 0 gcd is always positive right so what what is the possible values that implies here value of d so the number which is divisible by 1 which is only 1 then d will be 1 right so so value of d is nothing but 1 so gcd of a and b is equal to 1 right so here d divides 1 and here uh, d is gcd of uh, a and b that implies d greater than 0 so this must be value satisfy this equation will be d equal to 1 thus what we say gcd of a and b which is equal to 1 similarly we have to show that gcd of x and y which is again 1 similarly assume gcd of x and y is again d then by the definition of divisibility d divides x d divides y then definition x is equal to dk1 y is equal to dk2 below so here k1 k2 belongs to set of integers then what is the equation ax plus by 
is equal to 1 so you plus using value of x and y which is dk1 so a dk1 plus b dk2 is equal to 1 so we will get 1 is equal to d into bracket a k1 plus b k2 so this is value of k dash i will write d k2 so k2 is equal to a k1 plus b k2 belongs to set of integer so i will get d device 1 so d is gcd d is gcd and d is always greater than equal to 0 means the possible value is nothing but d is always less than equal to 1 when uh, d is exist means d divides 1 so possible value which is less than equal to 1 so that's why we say that d is equal to 1 is only possible value so d is equal to 1 means what g c of x and y is equal to 1 so g c of x and y is equal to 1 similarly you can see g c of a y and g c of x v is again 1 for assuming value of g c of a y which is equal to d and g c of x v again d then solve like this we will get solution let us see another example i will take if g c of a m is equal to 1 is equal to g c of b m b and m then show that g c of a into b with respect to m is same as 1 so we will prove this that is if a and m are relative to primes and b m b and m are relative to prime then show that a b with m is relatively prime so solution so here here now what we have on a m is equal to 1 instead of a m is equal to 1 then by using gcd theorem then by gcd theorem theorem there exist x not y not belongs to set of integers such that so how to write a x not plus m y not is equal to 1 right so we have to prove that a into b so i will write this equation as a x not is equal to 1 minus m y not this is equation number 1 also what we have given g c d of b and m is equal to 1 then again by g c d theorem then by theorem theorem there exist integer x1 y1 belong to set of integer such that how to exist here b x1 b x1 plus m y1 is equal to 1 so i will solve this for value of b x1 so we will get b x1 is equal to 1 minus m y1 so this is equation 2 so we will multiply equation 1 and 2 corresponding sides so what will we get so multiply equation 1 and 2 corresponding side sides what will we get here a x naught and here b x1 is equal to 1 minus m y naught into 1 minus m y1 so here i get a into b x naught x1 which is equal to here after multiplication we will get 1 minus m y1 minus m y naught minus minus plus m square y naught y1 so i will take m as a common between these two so i get here 1 minus m into bracket y1 i have taken minus sign common plus y naught plus m y naught y1 and left side is a into b x naught x1 so i will write this as value y2 so here a into b x naught x1 so 1 minus m into y2 so this is y2 where y2 is nothing but y1 plus y naught plus m y naught y1 belongs to set of integers now this is minus so left side i will get positive so a into b x naught x1 plus 
एम इन टू वाय टू विच इज इक्वल टू वन देन बाय जी सीड थेरम वॉट इज जी सीड थेरम इफ डी इज इक्वल टू ए एक्स प्लस बी वाय देन वी राइट इट एज जी सीड ऑफ ए एंड बी इज नथिंग बट डी राइट सो हियर ए टू बी एक्स नॉट एक्स वन प्लस सो दिस कैन बी डिटर्न सो एक्स नॉट एक्स वन आर द इंटीजर सो आई विल राइट इट एज एक्स एक्स टू राइट सो आई विल राइट दिस एज एक्स टू सो ए इन टू बी एक्स टू प्लस एम इन टू वाई टू इज इक्वल टू वन वे आर एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू एक्स नॉट एक्स वन बिलोंग्स टू सेट ऑफ इंटीजर देन बाइज इन डेफिनेशन ऑफ बाइज इन थेरम देन बाय थेरम वॉट वी से देन बाय थेरम दिस इज थेरम दैट इफ जी सी डी ऑफ ए एंड बी इज इक्वल टू डी देन वी राइट डी एज जी सी ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई मीन देर एग्जिस्ट एक्स एंड वाई साइज दैट ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई इज इक्वल टू डी और वी राइट दिस एज डी इज इक्वल टू ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई देन जी सी डी ऑफ ए एंड बी इज इक्वल टू डी सो वी राइट इट एज जी सी डी ऑफ ए इन टू बी एंड एम विच इज वन हेन्स द प्रूफ देन बाय थेरम जी सी डी ऑफ ए बी एंड एम इज इक्वल टू वन लेट सी अनादर एग्जाम्पल इफ पी इज प्राइम नंबर सच दैट पी डिवाइड्स ए एंड पी डिवाइड्स ए स्क्वेर प्लस बी स्क्वेर देन शो दैट शो दैट P must divides B. So here P is prime number. So here what we have given here P divides A. Then by using property P divides A, then P must divides A square, right? P is prime number. P divides A, then P must divides P square. For example, five divides five, then Five also divide five square, right? So we have write this like this. And also, what is given? P divides a square plus b square. Then we have the property that if if c divides a and c divides b, then c must divides a plus b or a minus b, right? So here p divides a square. P divides a square plus b square. Then what we say? P divides a square plus b square minus a square. So P also divides subtraction of these two means a square a square get cancelled. So P divides b square. So here we have P is prime number. So five divides. Suppose b square. Suppose b square is nothing but or prime number. So prime prime number square. Here five divides twenty five means five. What we say? I say. 5 divides 5 because 25 is 5 square means 5 divides 5 so p divides b square then we say that p divides b now in next point we will say uh, we will see congruences so we will continue the study of divisibility but for a slightly different point of view a congruence is nothing but more than statement about divisibility however it is more than just a convenient notation let's see congruences so definition of congruence mod n so congruences congruences so congruence mod n let's see definition congruence modulo n n so the definition of that Let a and b be any two integers. So the definition is: Let a and b be any two integers, and n is greater than one. B an integer. B an integer. If n divides difference of a minus b. If n divides a minus b, then we say that. then we say that we say that a is congruent to b modulo n we say that a is congruent to a congruent to b modulo n b modulo n 
operation modulo 10 so this is the meaning for if n divides a minus b then we see that a is congruent to b modulo n and we write and we denote and we denote or we write it as a is congruent to b modulo n so this is notation suppose if n divides a minus b then it can be written as a congruent to b modulo n so clearly this defines a relation in the set of integers and call congruence relation modulo n so this defines this defines relation in in the in set of integers set of integers z and call congruence relation modulo n call congruence relation relation modulo n so thus so we have what we have a congruence to b modulo n which is nothing but so a congruence to b modulo n means what this is if and only if case means n divides a minus b or then by using definition of divisibility what we have n is n divides a minus b then so we have b divides d means what there exists integer k such that d is equal to b k right like this here i get a minus b is equal to n into k for some k belongs to what set of integers right so this is definition for example so here 11 is congruent to 5 modulo 6 because because here difference of these two 11 minus 5 which is 6 and 6 divides 6 right and 6 divides 6 6 divides 6 so that is what we say 6 divides 11 minus 5 therefore this is congruent next again similarly i will take minus 7 is congruent to 10 modulo 17 so here difference of these two here minus 7 and here plus 10 so left side minus 10 which is minus 17 and minus 17 and 17 divides minus 17 that is 17 divides minus 7 minus 10 therefore this is congruence relation modulo 17 right so let us see the properties of congruence modulo n so some properties properties of congruence modulo n so let's see theorem so the statement let a b c d x y denotes integers denotes integer then first if a is congruent to b mod n a congruence to b mod n then first show so that a x is also congruence to b x modulo n and second one show that a plus x congruence to b plus x modulo n and second question is if a congruence to b modulo n and c congruence to d modulo n then first one a plus c congruence to b plus d modulo n second 
so here addition so i will write uh, subtraction a minus c is congruent to b minus d modulo n third one x plus cy is congruent to bx plus dy modulo n and last one fourth ac congruent to bd modulo n so let us prove these properties or theorem so proof of the theorem so first so what is given here here a b c d x y are set of integers and first we have given a congruence to be modulo n then we have to show these properties right so first let us see now so i will assume this so we have this definition a congruence to be modulo n not right so here what we have given a congruence to b modulo n right then by using definition of con uh, congruence property then n divides a minus b then by using definition of divisibility a minus b is equal to n into k for some k belongs to some k belongs to set of integers right so i will use this now we have to show that here we have to show that ax congruence to bx means what we have to show here n divides ax minus bx or i will write ax minus bx is equal to n into k right so so this equation using this equation now i will consider or multiply both side by x then what will happen so multiply both side by x multiply both side by x then what will we get ax minus bx is equal to n into k x so i will write in bracket so here i write ax minus bx is equal to n into k dash for k dash is equal to k x belongs to set of integer then by using definition of congruence relation what will we say n divides ax minus bx and then by using definition of congruence relation what we say ax congruence to bx modulo n hence the proof of first part so this is the proof of first part now second part to prove second part so here a plus x congruence to b plus x modulo n operation right so we have what we have so we have the relation here what we have a minus b is equal to nk so a minus b is equal to n into k right so i will adjust here x and here here is also x so i will adjust that a plus x minus b minus x so here plus x minus x cancel so remaining term a minus b which is equal to n into k i have taken adjustment plus x and minus x so i will write it as a plus x i will take minus sign as a common b plus x minus sign common so here is b which is equal to n into k then by using definition of divisibility what we say n divides here a plus x minus b plus x then by using definition of divisibility what we say a plus x which is congruence to b plus x modulo n hence the proof of second part now for second let's prove of second part so here again what we have a b c d x y belongs to set of integer and what we have here a is congruent to so second one so this is proof of two second a congruent to b modulo n and what we have here c congruent to d 
modulo n so we will prove this theorem now here a comma p modulo n means what what is definition n divides a minus b and c comma d means what n divides c minus d then there exists k1 such that a minus b is equal to n into k1 and here c minus d is equal to n into k2 for some k1 k2 belongs to set of integers right so now we have what we have to prove here a plus c is congruent to what a plus c congruent to b plus d now we will assume this property so now so we will prove first now assume so here left hand side is a plus c uh, a plus c and right hand side is b plus d now a plus c i will take this side as left hand side a plus c minus b plus d so this can be written as so here a plus c minus b minus d so i will take a plus c minus b minus d so i here i will write it as a minus b plus c minus d so we have the value of a minus b so value of a minus b is n k1 and c minus d has value n k2 so here this is n k1 plus n k2 therefore what we we get a plus c minus b plus d which is same as i will take n as a common between two so n into k1 plus k2 so i will write n into k dash where k dash is equal to k1 plus k2 belongs to set of integers right so i get here left side a plus c minus b plus d is equal to n minus k dash then by using definition of divisibility we will get n divides a plus c minus b plus d then by using definition of congruence what will we get a plus c is congruent to b plus d modulo n hence the proof of first now second let's prove second part now we will assume here so this is second part so a minus c minus so this part is left hand side so a minus c minus b minus d which is equal to so i will write it as a minus c so minus b minus minus plus d so i will take adjustment so a minus b so here which is a minus b so minus c plus d right so i will take here a minus b as it is i will take minus c uh, minus sign is common so c minus d so we know that value of a minus b is nk1 and c minus d has value nk2 so we will get so left hand side is a minus c minus b minus d which is equal to so has value nk1 minus nk2 so which is equal to n as a common so k1 minus k2 so which is equal to n into k dash where here k dash is equal to k1 minus k2 belongs to set of integers so here left hand side a minus c minus b minus d so then by definition n divides a minus c minus b minus d right so then by using congruence definition so a minus c is congruent to b minus d modulo an operation hence the proof of second property so first second is done now we will see third property let consider third so i will write it as so here i write ax plus cy minus this minus bx plus dy so we have to prove this so ax plus cy left hand side minus right hand side which is equal to so i will solve this so x plus cy minus bx minus dy so i will take x as a common so what will we get a minus b into x plus in this two i will take y as a common so c minus d into 
y so we know that value a minus b has value n k1 so which is equal to n k1 x plus c minus d has value n k2 y right so your left hand side is our left hand side ax plus cy so a plus cy minus bx plus dy which is equal to i will take n as a common so into bracket k1 x plus k2 y so i will write it as n into k dash here k dash is nothing but k1 x plus k2 y which belongs to set of integers so i get ax plus cy minus bx plus dy which is equal to n into k then by using definition of divisibility we will get n divides ax plus cy minus bx plus dy then by using definition of congruence relation so we get ax plus cy is congruent to congruence to bx plus dy modulo n hence the proof of third property now we will prove last property now to prove here ac congruence to bd modulo n so i will take ac minus bd which is equal to so i will make as change so ac i will take adjustment so here is c i will take common element between these two so i will take b and c so i will subtract bc and add bc minus bd uh, add and subtract bc so here bc and minus bc cancel so remaining terms as it is so i will take c as a common so a minus b into c plus i will take d oh, sorry b as a common so into bracket c minus d c minus d into uh, common is b so left hand side ac minus bd is equal to so a minus b has value nk1 n k1 into c plus c minus d has value nk2 nk2 into b so i will take n as a common bracket in bracket k1 c plus k2 b so ac minus bd so i will write ac minus bd is equal to n into k dash where k dash is nothing but k1 c plus k2 b which belongs to set of integers so i get here ad minus so ac minus bd is equal to nk then by using definition of divisibility we get n divides ac minus bd and by using definition of congruence modulo n so ac is congruence to bd modulo n so here we get the proof of fourth now in next lecture we will see another properties of integers under congruence relation thank you